And what is up, everyone, on YouTube Mark Gaming TV, aka Mark Gaming 3394, the owner of Mark Gaming TV, coming at you with a reaction video for the truck championship that happened last night. The 40 minutes as of November 4, 2023, with the championship happening, excuse me, the day prior on November 3rd. The race itself was very interesting. And by interesting, I mean it was an embarrassment to the NASCAR industry. The amount of cautions that were seen in the race was ridiculous, and the amount of laps that were ran under caution was also ridiculous. The race had 12 cautions for 77 laps in a race that needed four three white checkers in order to end the race itself. Definitely not a good look for our sport. Also, we had an issue with Carson Hosobar taking out Corey Hine in the race and then Corey Heim retaliating which set up the first overtime which caused all the chaos anyway. Ben Rhodes would eventually end up winning the championship with the 19 and Christian Eckes winning the race. But <clears throat> if NASCAR is going to continue to survive in this industry, in my opinion, they're going to have to clean up the racing and they need to clean up the consistency of the cautions. The racing itself was pretty decent, but when you have a Phoenix track and you have cars or trucks in this case that go below the line and are able to make it four and five wide, then of course you're going to have issues and you're going to have incidents where people get desperate. They're trying to go for a championship. Um, it's just not good for the sport, in my opinion. Of course, what do I know? Um, anyway, today... Again, November 4th, we have the Xfinity race, and I will be doing another um, race review of that uh, either later today or probably tomorrow, and then the Cup race will be on Sunday, November 5th. But overall, if NASCAR and the industry is going to continue to survive, they're going to have to get better about the uh, racing. I, I would honestly say they need to go to a different racetrack. Go to a racetrack that demands... Like a mile and a half, a cookie cutter track, something like that, that also has a line where, you, where if you go below it, you're it's not it's not creating more racing surface and not adding to the danger. And I know there's some people out there that are saying, "Well, you're just taking away from racing." No, I'm trying to promote a a safe, competitive environment, a fair environment for the four championship contenders to battle it out. Also, there has also been the question about stage points not being awarded to the championship four. In my opinion, you're already awarding stage points to the other guys in the field, and you're awarding stage points to everybody in the uh, to every to the championship four and the other 35 races or 22 races in trucks or 32 in Xfinity. So that being said. Why not just go ahead and implement stage points for the championship four? Make the race a little more strategic. Make it a little more exciting. You know, make the crews have to be more strategic because they know that stage points could potentially affect the outcome of the championship. So in my opinion, I think stage points need need to be added for the championship four for the championship race. Or take out stage points for everyone in the field. Don't just go 50-50. Don't do stage points for the non-championship four drivers, and then you tell championship four drivers they're not going to get stage points. So, <clears throat> anyway, as far as where I think they need to go for the championship, the championship was used to be run at Homestead Miami Speedway until so they moved it to Phoenix. Honestly, you got two ways of looking at this. <clears throat> Excuse me. You got two ways of looking at this. You can either go to you can either go back to Homestead. Or you can rotate the tracks, like go to a different track every year for the championship. Now, me personally, I would want to go to a track every year, you know, at least make it different. Because Phoenix, like I said, Phoenix is good, but with the below line thing that people, you know, tend to go below the line to make passes because it is so wide, it just makes it that much more dangerous, especially when the track narrows up in the corners. So I think that is something that needs to be addressed, and hopefully NASCAR will address it in the following seasons. Again, guys, just wanted to come on here and let you guys know how I thought of the race. And overall, the truck race is all right, but definitely NASCAR has got a lot of things they need to work on. They need to get their consistency in check. They also need to get their cautions 
in check two, which is another thing I want to bring up real quick. That last, um, <clears throat> the last overtime that finally ended the race, one car or truck got up into the wall, cut a tire, and there was a lot of confusion as to why that was not a caution. I will agree that, that should have been a caution, but I think at that point NASCAR just wanted to finish the race because they were already in four overtimes and already almost 30 laps past the scheduled distance. That being said, you have to be consistent in this sport in order to maintain a healthy integrity, integrity environment for this sport. So that is something NASCAR also needs to clean up. Um, again, guys, um, if you got any questions or comments about what I've said or anything that I've said, or if you got any, just anything in particular you want to mention, just put it in the comments below in the video. Mark Gaming TV, signing off. I will be posting a video later today or tomorrow for the Exchange Works. Peace out.